Looking to break into one of the fastest growing careers in renewable energy? As a wind turbine technician, you'll work hands-on with cutting-edge technology while helping power the future. Whether you're just starting out or ready to take the next step, these top interview questions and detailed answers will prepare you to stand out, show your skills, and land the job. Get ready to climb high both literally and professionally. 1. What motivated you to become a wind turbine technician? Becoming a wind turbine technician is often the result of a personal passion for renewable energy and a desire for hands-on, impactful work. Many technicians are drawn to the field by a combination of mechanical curiosity, environmental responsibility, and the appeal of working outdoors. Employers want to understand what drives you to pursue this physically demanding yet rewarding career. Your response should reveal your values, technical interests, and career goals. Perhaps you were inspired by the potential of wind energy to reduce fossil fuel dependence, or maybe you enjoy mechanical challenges and problem solving. Some candidates are motivated by the opportunity to work with advanced technology in dynamic environments. Others might mention the job stability and growth opportunities in the renewable energy sector. What matters is that you communicate a genuine interest in the work and an understanding of the role's significance. If you've had hands-on experience with turbines, mention it. If you worked in electrical or mechanical maintenance before, link that experience to your current goals. Show that this career path isn't just a job. It's a mission aligned with your passion for sustainability, engineering, and teamwork. Two, can you describe the basic components of a wind turbine and their functions? Wind turbines are composed of several critical components that work together to convert wind energy into electrical power. Interviewers ask this question to assess your foundational knowledge and to ensure you understand how the system operates as a whole. The key components include the rotor, blades, hub, nacelle, gearbox, generator, tower, and control system. The rotor includes the blades and the hub. It captures wind energy and converts it into rotational motion. The blades are shaped to harness wind efficiently, much like an airplane wing generates lift. The hub connects the blades to the rotor shaft. Inside the nacelle, mounted at the top of the tower, you'll find a gearbox and generator. The gearbox increases the rotational speed of the shaft to match the generator's operating requirements. The generator converts this mechanical energy into electrical energy. The tower supports a nacelle and rotor and is designed for strength and flexibility to withstand environmental forces. Finally, the control system monitors wind speed and direction, adjusts blade angles via pitch control, Understanding each of these components and how they interact is vital for maintenance, troubleshooting, and repair work. A technician must not only recognize each part, but also understand its importance in the energy conversion process and how to maintain efficiently. 3. How do you ensure safety while working at heights and in harsh weather conditions? Safety is the top priority in wind turbine maintenance, especially given the heights and conditions involved. Employers need to know that you are committed to safety protocols and can stay calm under pressure. Working at altitudes often exceeding 300 feet means you must use fall protection systems, such as harnesses, lanyards, and anchor points correctly. You must complete safety training like GWO, Global Wind Organization, modules in working at heights, first aid, manual handling, and fire awareness. Before climbing, always inspect PP and ensure it's certified. Weather can also pose a hazard. Technicians must monitor forecasts and avoid working during lightning, high winds, or icy conditions. Always follow lockout slash tagout procedures when servicing turbines to prevent electrical accidents. A job safety analysis, JSA, should be conducted before any maintenance begins, and team communication should be clear and constant. Radios and hand signals often assist with this. Routine safety drills and regular equipment inspections are necessary to maintain readiness. You should also be physically and mentally fit for this demanding environment. Mentioning that you follow company policies, participate in safety meetings, and are proactive about identifying risks will reassure employers. Showing that you view safety not as a checklist, but as a culture makes you stand out as a responsible and team-oriented technician. For what experience do you have with electrical and mechanical systems? Wind turbines are complex machines requiring technicians to be skilled in both electrical and mechanical systems. This question helps employers understand the breadth and depth of your technical capabilities. Start by outlining your experience. Did you complete a technical training program or apprenticeship? 
Have you worked on motors, generators, wiring systems, or hydraulic systems in previous roles? Be specific. For electrical systems, highlight your knowledge of wiring diagrams, troubleshooting circuits, using multimeters, and working with high and low voltage systems. Mention if you've done insulation resistance tests, motor testing, or PLC diagnostics. Demonstrating that you understand torque values, bearing replacement, and hydraulic troubleshooting adds credibility. Employers want technicians who can diagnose issues, replace components, and perform preventive maintenance. If you've worked in industries like aviation, marine, or heavy machinery, explain how those skills transfer. Include examples where you identified and fixed faults quickly or improved system reliability. Your goal is to show that you not only know how these systems work, but also how to keep them running efficiently and safely in high-stress environments. Confidence backed by real examples is key. 5. How do you approach troubleshooting a malfunctioning turbine? Effective troubleshooting is a core skill for wind turbine technicians. Employers want to see that you have a methodical and analytical approach to identifying and resolving faults. Start by explaining your step-by-step -step process. First, review SCADA data to look for alarms or performance anomalies. This helps narrow down whether the issue is electrical, mechanical, or control system related. Then, perform a visual inspection of the turbine, checking for physical damage, loose connections, oil leaks, or wear on components. Next, use diagnostic tools such as multimeters or thermal cameras to isolate the issue. Cross-reference findings with technical manuals, wiring schematics, and past maintenance logs. Communication is crucial. Coordinate with your team and inform supervisors of any major concerns. Once the issue is identified, determine whether it requires a part replacement, software reset, or escalation engineering. Emphasize the importance of documenting the process in the maintenance system for future reference. This structured method shows employers that you're thorough, data-driven, and safety-minded. Describe a specific time when your approach led to a fast and accurate fix. Highlighting both your technical reasoning and communication skills proves you're reliable under pressure and effective at restoring turbine function quickly. 6. What do you know about preventive maintenance in wind turbines? Preventive maintenance is critical for maximizing turbine uptime and minimizing costly repairs. This question assesses your familiarity with routine tasks that keep turbines running efficiently. Preventive maintenance, PM, involves regularly scheduled inspections and services based on manufacturer guidelines and operational hours. Typical PM tasks include inspecting and tightening bolts, checking electrical connections, testing sensors, and changing filters and lubricants. Gearbox oil samples are often taken to detect where through oil analysis, blade inspections, tower inspections, and checking the pitch and yaw systems are also common. Many wind turbines use computerized maintenance management systems, CMMS, to log and schedule tasks. Emphasize that you understand the importance of consistency and attention to detail in these checks. Also, highlight your ability to follow detailed checklists, work efficiently with team members, and communicate findings clearly. Preventive work helps identify early signs of fatigue, wear, or misalignment, preventing failures before they occur. This approach is not just about compliance, but about ensuring operational excellence and safety. By showing that you prioritize preventive care, you demonstrate your value in protecting the company's investment and ensuring long-term turbine reliability. 7. How do you handle working in remote locations or on call during odd hours? Wind farms are often located in remote areas, and turbine issues can occur at any time. Employers want technicians who are reliable, flexible, and prepared for the demands of the job. Start by acknowledging the unique challenges of working in isolated environments, limited access to resources, difficult terrain, and being away from home. Then explain how you stay prepared. For remote jobs, you plan ahead, pack tools, PP, weather appropriate gear, and communication devices. You're self-sufficient and organized, which helps you adapt when plans change or equipment is unavailable. Discuss your comfort with being on call and your ability to respond quickly and professionally. Mention a specific time you received a call out during a holiday or in the middle of the night and how you handled it with composure. Employers appreciate technicians who understand the commitment and don't complain about the unpredictability. Also, stress that you maintain good physical and mental health.
which helps you stay alert and productive. You're proactive, dependable, and see this role as more than nine to five. It's a responsibility you take seriously. Eight, what certifications or training do you have that relate to wind turbine work? Certifications and specialized training are essential in demonstrating your qualification and readiness for wind turbine work. Start by mentioning any formal education, such as a diploma or associate degree in wind energy, electrical engineering, or mechanical systems. Then, highlight your certifications, particularly those recognized by the Global Wind Organization, GWO. These typically include working at heights, first aid, fire awareness, and manual handling. If you have additional certifications in electrical safety, confined space entry, or CPR, include those as well. Employers also value OSHA 10, or 30 certification, for workplace safety awareness. Mention if you completed training with specific turbine manufacturers like Siemens, Vestas, or GE, which often provide model-specific instruction. If you've used CMMS platforms, SCADA systems, or handheld diagnostic tools, explain that training too. Be honest about your current level while showing a commitment to ongoing education. Employers want technicians who not only meet current standards, but are also eager to learn as technology evolves. Stress your discipline in keeping certifications up to date and your willingness to cross-train to support different aspects of turbine maintenance. This shows initiative, adaptability, and professionalism. Nine, describe a time you had to work as part of a team to complete a complex task. Teamwork is essential in wind turbine maintenance due to complexity and safety concerns of the work. Start by selecting a real-life example where collaboration was critical. Describe the task clearly. Perhaps it involved replacing a gearbox, repairing a blade, or troubleshooting an electrical fault. Emphasize how each technician had a defined role and how communication kept the task on track. Talk about how you coordinated efforts, shared tools, and followed lockout slash tagout procedures. Mention if you helped newer technicians or took the lead on organizing the task. Also, highlight how the team responded to challenges, such as equipment delays or unexpected complications. The key is to demonstrate that you are reliable, cooperative, and focus on the shared goal, not just your own performance. Conclude with a successful outcome and what you learn from the experience. Employers want to see that you work well under pressure, respect your colleagues, and prioritize safety and efficiency. Good teamwork on a turbine isn't just about getting the job done. It's about doing it safely, smartly, and in sync with others. 10. Where do you see yourself in this field five years from now? This question helps employers gauge your long-term commitment and ambitions. Begin by stating that you see yourself continuing to grow as a wind turbine technician, contributing to the industry's expansion and embracing new technologies. Mention your interest in advancing to senior technician roles, or becoming a lead or trainer. Some candidates may want to specialize in blade repair, control systems, or offshore turbine work. Others might pursue supervisory roles or even engineering degrees. Explain that you value continuous improvement, whether through certifications, learning from mentors, or staying current with emerging trends in renewable energy. You might express interest in contributing to safety programs, mentoring new hires, or participating in special projects. Employers want to invest in people who are thinking ahead and eager to make a long-term impact. Show that you're not just looking for a job. You're building a career in a vital and fast-changing industry. Demonstrate confidence, clarity, and a passion for the work. That ambition, when grounded in realistic goals, leaves a strong impression. Preparing for a wind turbine technician interview means showcasing your technical skills, safety focus, and passion for renewable energy. With the right mindset and clear, confident answers, you'll stand out to employers. Use these questions to guide your preparation and take the next step in your wind energy career.